Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Today I'm here with a dream, okay? Um, in this dream, I was around it, riding around town and I ended up meeting some new people. I stopped and I would talk with them. Um, I ended up needing something else to finish the conversation and then I would find what I needed and go about my way. The scripture comes from Psalm 81. Sing, joyful, sing joyfully to God our strength. Acclaim the God of Jacob. Take up a melody and sound the timbrel, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on our solemn feast. For it is statute in Israel an ordinance of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree for Joseph when he came forth from the land of Egypt. Okay, so I feel like this is a message to somebody. You are feeling like, um, you are feeling kind of overwhelmed um, with whatever it is that God is leading you to do. I feel like you're doing something where God leads you to speak to different people. Like you, God leads you to go up to people and talk to them. God leads you to talk to them and um, talk to them about him. And I feel like you are feeling like um, you don't have what it takes. Like maybe you feel as though you don't have everything that you need to accomplish what God wants you to accomplish. And I feel like God is saying that you have everything within you. God is saying that just by you literally being blessed, okay, by the blessings that you are receiving from God, that those that encounter you, those that meet you, it's kind of like God will send you to people and you will meet them. You will talk to them and you will get to know them. You will find out what it is that they need. And a lot of times, or I feel like sometimes it's not a situation where you have what they need. But it's more so you are there to show them how to get what they need, okay? And it's not to say that they are supposed to copy you and mimic exactly what you do for a living or anything like that. But simply by them knowing that you pray to God, you prayed about this, you prayed about that, you prayed about this, you pray about that. You know, there are sometimes when I pray about certain things, there are sometimes when I... um you know, take out the time and say a word to my heavenly father and ask him to guide me, ask him to help me, ask him to lead me, um, when, with whatever it is, regardless if it's a situation where I, I need help with some bills or if it's a situation to where I, I, I need this, I need food, I need, I need to buy some new clothes or I need a new coat, it's cold, I need some new shoes or um, if it's a situation to something serious to where there's a problem, maybe I'm not getting along with someone that I really care about and I don't want it to go the bad way. I don't want it to go left. Um, I pray to God for guidance. I pray to God for strength. I pray to God to keep my mind. I pray to God to keep my anger under wraps. I pray to God about everything. And every single time, 333, as I say that, he answers my prayer. And um, God is saying that Sometimes you may meet someone, you may encounter someone, you encounter these people because God is sending you to these people and you are meant to show them that he answers prayers, but it's not meant for you specifically to be the, the answer prayer because then you will become an idol. Then you would become um, someone that other people would worship. God said he doesn't want you to become that. You don't want you to become that. And it is not meant for you to become that because you know God is a jealous God. He don't want no man coming before him. He don't want no woman coming before him. However, he is going to use you to show people that you are in need, to show people that you need this, you need that. They like He wants the people that you have come to to help to see that you know when you need something you like you're like first of all god wants them to know that you are human that you are like them you like them you know you you get sick like them you get hurt like them you go through this you go through that you are a person 444 as i say that confirmation again y'all god is saying that he wants them to understand you are like them you're not all the way up here you're not bigger than them you're not better than them you're not over them the only difference 
is when you get in trouble, you call on God. And, you know, um, God is saying that this would show them that if they get in trouble, if they need help, if they are looking for someone to call on, they're looking for someone to help them out of a situation, they're looking for somebody to help them find this, to do that, to do. God is saying that he wants them to know that his ears are always attentive he is always he does not sleep he does not slumber he is always attentive he's always listening to his children he's always concerned about his children it's not the fact that he don't know what they're going through it's not the fact that he doesn't care about what they're going through it's the fact that they have not opened their mouth and asked him for help they have not opened their mouths and asked him for guidance they haven't asked him the way that you've asked him and god is saying he wants them to you know, he wants them to, he wants them, he wants them to reach out to him. He wants them to, uh, to ask for his, his guidance. They want, because the thing is, once they have received this blessing from God, once they have received this help from God, once God has pulled them out of whatever situation that they are in, they will do what the scripture says, sing joyfully to God, our strength. A claim to the God of Jacob. Take up a melody and sound the timbre, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on our solemn feast. For it is the statute in Israel and an ordinance of the God of Jacob who made a decree for Joseph when he came forth from the land of Egypt. God said that he will pull you out of any situation. He will pull you out of any kind of um battle that you're facing and kind of you know and, and it don't matter how big and bad it is it don't matter how small it don't matter how big god said that he wants you to call on him for everything for everything for everything for everything um i've talked about several times when i was in my car accident like you know before my car accident it was different but once i got in my car accident and i was in a position to where i literally could not move and i had to call on god for everything Okay, um, the nurses take the funny. They don't want to give me no medicine. Lord, take away the pain. And he took it away instantly, instantly took it away. Put me just, I went straight to sleep after I prayed to God about that. They came back and, you know, they were apologetic because my family, um, you know, my family had some grievances, some complaints, some problems. Okay, but my family was not playing with them. But anyways, they came back trying to be all nice and stuff. And your girl was asleep because God then put me to sleep. God then took away the pain in such a way that I was able to fall asleep. When I woke up, they were like, we apologize. The medicine is there. Dot, 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 dot. You know, whatever. And, um... But God did it instantly. And that's something big. That's something that, you know, it, it's... It's something that you... you it's like supernatural. It's like, it's something that I can't even possibly prove it to you. You just had to be there. You would have had to be there to actually see and understand everything that's going on. You know, um, when I had to teach myself how to walk, okay? Because when I left therapy, when they discharged me from therapy, I was not walking. I was still in a wheelchair. And every day I woke up. I prayed to God. I talked to God throughout the therapy. I watched several videos and tried to figure it out to my best, my fullest extent. I taught myself how to walk on crutches. And my son was sitting there screaming and yelling, Mommy, you're walking. I'm so happy for you, Mommy. I'm so happy you're walking. And I went from, you know, teaching myself how to move on the crutches. And eventually I was uh, able to start walking on the crutches and I, I would continue with um stretching using yoga i would continue with you know lifting um weights and building the uh the strength back in the muscles of my legs and i just i had to do all of this stuff but i i i will never try to say that it was by my own power it was by the power of god that i kept praying to god and praying to god that he will bring me back i was praying to god that he will heal me i was praying to god that he would that he wouldn't allow me to be in that predicament forever and you know um even though now you know even today your girl is in a lot of pain my ankle is just in agonizing pain i didn't put some little cream on there i'm chilling you know Thank God I have an amazing husband who is like very um, patient with me and he understands what I'm going through because, um, you know, he from his own experience. So he understands what I'm going through. And it's not just like, 
you know, he's not sitting up here looking at me like, are you faking or nothing like that? But you know what I'm saying? It's just, God is just simply amazing. And I just feel like God is saying that through you proclaiming the blessings that he has done for you, the things that he has done for you, the, the prayers that he has answered for you, um, when it looked like there was no way, when it looked like it was impossible, when it, it, it was, it seemed like it would just never happen. God answered that prayer for you. He said he, he, he loves that. He loves when his children does that because then when his children who have been led astray or his children that just simply don't know him, um, see you shouting and screaming and they see that you, you were down this day and then instantly you have been brought up instantly you are um singing praises unto god and you're saying thank you lord you, you did it for me the lights is on i uh, thank you lord you did it for me i don't have to worry about fools today thank you lord you you made sure i got the job i wanted you made sure i got the car i wanted you made sure this happened you made sure that happened he says that it, it makes a believer out of the non-believer it will turn someone who does not believe into god into someone who is um shouting and screaming and and you know like in, in complete praise uh of god and worship of god because of the things that he has done for them because after they saw what he had did for you they started to pray to god and now they are receiving blessings and now people are looking at them and now they're praying to god and they're receiving blessings and god is like basically saying pass it on that's what it is. Pass it on. It's not that God is putting you. God isn't wanting you to feel like you're awkward. You know, you you find out the things that people are going through and it hurts your heart. You know, I've experienced that before. It hurts your heart and you want to help in any way you can. You want to do whatever you can for them. But in reality, you just simply cannot do anything. And God is saying it is not meant for you to do anything. It is meant for you to meet them to make an impact on them in whatever way and you know maybe you made a new friend maybe you like you know what i'm saying and this person who is now your friend knows the struggles that you go through and your prayers are getting answered and they see that your prayers are getting answered and they're asking well how did this happen for you oh god did it i i, I was stressed about it i didn't know how it was gonna happen i didn't know where it was coming from and i prayed to god and he blessed me and you should pray to God about what you got not going on so he can bless you too. And God is saying that it will cause a, you know, a little effect. What's it called? Domino effect. Like, yeah. Like, it, it'll cause people to, they'll catch on and they'll be praising him and they'll be praising him and they'll be praising him. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, camera's changed. So.